Hi everybody, it is I am a genius month of February here. We're working with iFixit to help spread the word that I'm a genius, these guys are geniuses, you're a genius, that you don't have to sit behind the genius bar in order to be able to be a genius and fix your own stuff. So I'm here with Betsy and Maisie. Now which one of you guys is Betsy? You're Betsy and mm -hmm. you are? Maisie. Maisie. All right, good. I got it right. And how old are you? Eight. Eight. Are you twins? Yes. Can you actually speak or does it have to always be together? Can you talk just by yourself? Yeah. No. <laughs> All right. So Betsy and Maisie, um, you guys are the ones that actually got me started repairing iPhones. Did you know that? Yes. Yeah. What can you tell me what happened? Okay, we flushed so, your phone. Okay, down so the we toilet. were we were babies. We took your phone, went to the toilet, plopped your phone in the toilet and On purpose or Yes, on purpose. on purpose. Wow, okay. Um why? Because we were stupid. Okay. Just that's kind of destructive things you like to do with your time back then? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. We right. were stupid. Okay. So, um, and then what happened? Uh, you had to take the toilet apart, then you had to remake the phone. Yes, yeah, so I did end up getting my phone out of the toilet. I smashed it in the front yard, and then I ended up retrieving that phone, and it took me two years. But eventually I, I figured out how to make that phone work again, and that was my first phone repair. And I was just, I was just, I still have that phone. And I was just looking at um, this picture that I found. Look at this, girls. That's you guys, right? I, no. What? <laughs> yes, it is. Look, it's. I, I actually thought that was different people, Mom. No, that's you guys. What? It's, <laughs> it's, that's you. That is, see, look. That's Betsy, because remember you cut your bangs? That was another little uh, DIY oh, yeah. thing you did. Yeah. And there's Maisie with the red and white polka dots. Yes? All right, there you go. Um, so uh, let me ask you guys. A couple of questions. Um, do, you, do you fix anything? Have you ever fixed anything yes. yourself? Yes, yes. Would you like to tell me about it? Yes, I picked, fixed Maisie's piggy bank. Her piggy bank. Can I show it? Can you show it? Yes. Yes, we brought it over there. Look, Don't I, drop it. I fixed it. Also, we made a little upgrade now. Maisie can just take the money out. I love that. I love that. So why don't you tell me the story of your fix here on the piggy bank. How did it get broken? Well, me and Maisie were playing a very fun game, but I thought I was going to go to bed. So I decided to go to bed, but Maisie wanted to keep playing. And we were playing with our piggy banks on this little board. So Maisie took the board over with the piggy banks on it, but Maisie fell off and crashed. So her piggy bank fell off, aw, and it went down the stairs and crashed. Was it the stairs? Mm -mm. Yeah. Well, it kind of just crashed on the, on the floor. On the floor. Yeah. And it was in a whole, I can see it must have been in a bunch of pieces. I can see all sorts of we lost of, a piece. Of crack marks, yes. And then I can remember what I loved about this repair is that Maisie was very sad, and so Betsy decided to try and fix the piggy bank, and you were missing a piece. You were missing a piece that goes right here. Yeah, this piece right here. So how did you handle the fact that you were missing a piece? I took a piece of paper, cut a hole in the piece of paper, and colored it pink. Yes. And so I can see that you've colored that in pink and you've looked, it looks like you've used scotch tape to tape that over the hole. And that's, uh, that's really great. And it looks like you've got a little bit of scotch tape also on the ear and yeah, right here. I think. No, I put it there. Oh, you put that there? Yeah. To I help it out? I didn't like put it, feeling that. So, I put so you upgraded there. that as well. Mm -hmm. All right. Now I know that you guys have just have had some discussion on whether or not to put this piece to glue it back down. So why did you leave this piece off? So it's a lot easier to grab my money 
and just plop it back in. Now that's a lot of money. How did you make all that money? By the gumball machine. By doing chores and getting um, gumball machine. Yeah. Theft from the gumball machine? What? Most of it. <laughs> all right. Good. Good to know. I thought this was mostly from your waitressing job. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. And a little bit of light shoplifting. Okay, that's all right. Well, I really like your upgrade. I love how you took something that was broken and you not only fixed it, but you I actually did not yes. Hurt. Okay, not, that's not very nice. Um, but you actually upgraded it, and now it's even better than it was to begin with, right? Yeah, except there's cracks. So. Except for the cracks. Yeah, you got to look, look past the cracks. All right, very good. Now, did, did it always have this little tongue, or did you add that? No, I just drew it. And I drew the eyelashes. Oh, my. So, look, Piggy, Piggy also got an upgrade of a tongue and eyelashes. All right, now, does your piggy bank have a name or not really? Well, no. No? Just piggy, random piggy bank? All right. So, one of the things that I was asking you guys about this right to repair stuff and genius stuff do you think that you have to be a genius in order to fix things? Or no. can anyone do it? Anybody can do it. No. You don't have to be a genius. Okay. Actually, it's a lot easier to be a, a just normal person than being a genius. Geniuses don't really fix phones. Oh, I see. So what does a genius do? Like, if you're really, like, a genius, so then... You talk about phones and mm. say that you have a business, but you don't really fix them. Oh, okay. Interesting. But also you do fix them. Okay, very cool. All right, so um, I had another question for you guys, because sometimes kids tend to see things that adults... Uh, what was that? <laughs> a clown nose? Yep. It happens to be in your pocket? Let me see. Can I try it on? Can I try it on while I ask this next question? Okay. All right, here's my next question. I do like your clown nose that you randomly had in your pocket. Um, oh, yeah, Dad gave one uh, to me. Specter says, Piggy is awesome. Very nice job, girls. Okay. Um, I especially like the fast... The fast cash option, option that you designed into the bank. Yes, fast, ca fast cash. I like that. Okay. All right, <clears throat> here's my question. Are you ready? Yeah. I want to know, Maisie, do you think, do you think that, that you can really make, is it fair to make a business that sells something, can you make them have to sell you parts? Oh, when, definitely. When, oh, most certainly. Well, I mean, you're kind of making them do something that they might not want to do because don't they want you to just buy a new one? Yeah, I know, but why don't you just make like some parts and like some the real toy okay so you would make the thing and then you would also sell the parts do you think it's fair to force a company to do that because um you know they're gonna have to make parts available that you yeah. would then have uh, the option I to think think why is that fair maybe be so, allowed to have their own cell phone will it be okay. we'll, we'll get back to that one i want you to answer my question mm -hmm. Okay, I think I think it's fair because peop it's fun if you're if you don't like actually fixing stuff you can fidget with it like I like to do. But also You mean take apart stuff? Yeah, and just fidget with it. Mess around, tinker. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Or if you you're like you you, you can take take um a Parts and parts and form it into a phone and make a phone, just like you did with Betsy's phone. So Betsy, yeah, there is a question about what age will you be allowed to have your own phone? I already have my own phone. All right, so you have your own phone, and Maisie, do you have your own phone? Yes. Yes, and what kind of phone is your phone? SE. Yours is an iPhone SE, and what kind of phone is your phone? A Pixel. Yours is a Google Pixel, so you're on two different platforms. You're an Android user and you're an iPhone user. Now, how did you choose to be a, why did you choose not to have an iPhone? Well, because I think a Pixel has a lot better pictures and it's, I just, it's longer and bigger and it just, it, um, 
I always wish to have a case of it, but um, it is blue already, so that's good. Yes, okay. And now how about your phone, Betsy? How did you come to have a phone? I mean, you're pretty young for a phone. Well, um, you called us into your office, and you told me some stuff about San Francisco or something. Mm-hmm. I'm not so sure. So your phone is one that I actually bought as a broken phone to use as parts for somebody else's repair. It. And then when it came, I realized that it would be pretty easy to actually fix that phone. So you gave it to me. So I did fix it, and then I gave it to you, and then I ordered another broken phone to use for parts for, for, for a San Francisco. Yes, exactly. Very good. All right. So, um, so now... I'm going to ask you guys, this is our challenge. Are you ready? I have a phone here that is broken. So I want you to look at this phone. This phone is broken, and I'm going to read you the note that it came with. I want you to stop looking at that, okay? I'll tell you if anything's important. All right, so this phone here, you can touch it and feel it. Hold it. Here you go. I'm giving it to you. All right, now I'm going to tell you guys how that phone has come to me and why it's here, okay? And then we're going to see if you have any ideas about how to fix it, okay? So this is what I'm going to read to you. This phone, this phone started out not holding a charge. And if I plugged it in, it would not charge up. All right. And then the phone died. died. The, what does that say? The, the Apple store could not get the, the old phone phones. to power up. But so the Apple Store could not get the old phone to power up. Now, who works at the Apple Store? Geniuses. The geniuses. So has this phone already been to some geniuses? Yeah. And they could not get the phone to power up, and they said that it's a power supply issue that Apple does not deal with, but that if the, that could be fixed, then all of their pictures should still be there, the Apple people suggested that I find a third-party service that can take it apart and see if they can fix it. Okay, and that's how it came you know, to us. So this has somebody's pictures on it and it won't turn on. Yeah. Can I get a chair? Can you get a chair? Yeah. yeah. Why don't you go grab a chair? That sounds like a good idea. All right, so now Maisie, let's start with you and I want to just hear you think out loud what would you do? How are we possibly going to try to, I mean, should we just give up because if the geniuses can't fix it, then we definitely can't fix it? No. Um, if the person who gave the phone to you was here right now, I would ask some questions about when it last worked and okay, that's if there good. any that's special good. stuff about it. Like what kind of questions? Let's hear it. Like, um, when did it last work? When did it last turn on? Uh, yeah, and also, did it start out this way when you bought it? Okay, so was it working just fine, and then did something happen? Like, what kind of answers would change how you uh, might so think? What did you did you pour? At, did you bring it near food and a piece of spaghetti or something? I don't know. Dropped on it. Right. So maybe it got wet. So. You might treat it differently if it had liquid damage inside it than if it just sort of fell out of their pocket or if they just or if it just sort of woke up that way. Well, a different. The screen doesn't seem to be cracked, so I don't think it fell out of the pocket and smashed it. That's a the very good observation. Yep, yeah, you're right. So we'll we can look at the outside of the phone and I think you're right. The screen doesn't seem to be cracked and it doesn't look like it's bent or anything like that. All right. So, and if he was not, he or she was not there, mm -hmm. then I would open it up and test the battery and see if it, it worked or not. So you think we should open this phone up and test the battery to see if... Yeah. Okay. And how, what do you think, Betsy? I think you should, like, first, before opening it up and testing... If, if the battery is okay, I think you should like look for specks of water or something. So you think, in how, you mean open it up and look for water or like just kind of look at it like this? Um, open it up. So you think we should open it up and see if there's water in it? 
All right, that sounds like a great idea. Let, should we do it? Yep. Yeah. Okay. So how do you open an iPhone? How would we have any have idea to where to even start? Unscrew. You have to. Unscrew in here. Yeah, these two screws. I actually took those two screws out so that we could save time. So then what? Then you would open up the screen. Open up the screen. So I use my, my special genius fingernails. I don't have any. Yeah, you can't use yours. Yours are way too nice looking. You look like you actually... But I like, don't have any fingernails. Oh, well... If you're going to be a genius, you're going to have to grow fingernails, I think. All right, so now I got it opened up. I stopped so biting mine. You stopped biting them? Good. I still bite mine sometimes. All right, should we look under the microscope so that we can all see together? Yeah. Yes, let's do. Let's take off this camera, and let's take off the side camera. And now let's see. So let's get this going and let's see what we can see all right so i'm looking for signs of water i don't see any water i don't see any water drops and here's a little sticker here that tells me that this phone um never got it never got wet enough to turn that sticker pink and then over here is another one where I can see that that didn't get water. So I don't think that this is water damaged. I don't see any water. All right, so now what do you think we should do? Test the battery. Test the battery. All right, now how do we do that? Um, you. Um, I'm, I don't um, know. Maybe you take. Ooh, are you looking for a charging cable? Like this? Are you looking for, what are you looking for? A screwdriver? Um, no. What? Are you looking for a charger? No, I'm looking for this. Oh, you're looking for a multimeter. Wow. Okay, how, <laughs> what are you gonna do with this? Okay. I I'll tell you this, eight-year-old girls do not know how to use multimeters. I know that for sure. Okay. These are mostly used for batteries, testing batteries. Okay. But so should I put this on voltage to do a voltage test on the battery? Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. All right. You're a pretty, you're, you pretty much are a genius. I am surprised that this has occurred to you, to be honest. All right. Now, what are you, how are you going to get at the battery? It's, it's under there. So how are you going to get to that? Well, alcohol you taught me this morning to use alcohol. Oh, when, when you were tinkering over there of taking batteries out? Okay. Yeah. Well, how about this? Let's look and I want you guys to look at this and tell me how is this battery attached to the logic board of the phone? Look at it and see if you can figure that out. Well, I already took one off so it's like something sticky on the I'd say like these little screws. All right, so should we take off these screws then and see if yeah, you can um, take that apart? All right. If you want to do that, mm -hmm. here, let's use this one. Were there any stickers? Any what? Are there any important messages? Are there any important messages? Yeah. You're looking for a multimeter. This eight-year-old knows more than I do, says Sean McNamara. That's really funny. Rob Brown falls out of chair. Amazing, girls. All right, so let's watch what Maisie's doing over here. It looks like Maisie is taking out, let's see, can we get our side camera? This is Maisie, is, is, uh, got one screw out, and she looks like she, oh, let me get that to stand up again. Ah! Oh, no, the side camera lost its lost its cable. All right, we'll have to give up on side camera. Oh, there it is. All right, so it looks like Maisie is gonna get that battery shield off. Very good, Maisie. All right, now you can take that part off with your fingernail. I don't have one, but no, wait, I have some fingernail. Yeah, you're gonna have to to work on your fingernail skills. Now, if you don't have professional genius fingernails, you can use one of these uh, things. Here, you can use one of those things if you need. Take off that. 
that's causing it. Now, how do you know which way to make it tighter and which way to make it looser? Well, first lefty, I... loosey, righty, tighty. Very good. Yeah. Very good. Okay, so you got the battery exposed, and now you're going to use that thing to disconnect the battery? Yeah, like, do I have to pull it off? I don't know. I would do it like this. There you go. There you go. Perfect. All right. Now, let me ask you guys a question. Got it off. Good job. All right, let me ask you guys a question. <laughs> um, how was that so far? Hmm? Um, that was... Okay, I'll get that. All right, tell me what that is down there. It's a new battery. Yes, it is. It's a new battery. So... That phone, I'm gonna let. I'm trying to get pictures off of it that I already recovered. So we're gonna work on this phone for right now. So let's keep neat. We're gonna keep that over there. Um, what's the easiest way to test? Is the battery the problem? Okay. Um. Test the old one, and then test the new one, and, and to see if if. Even the, if it's even if it's new, it can still be pretty bad. All right. So you, it sounds like you are wanting to use the multimeter to do a voltage test on the battery. Yeah. All right. Let's do that. So I will show you how to do that. That's a really, really, really good idea. So you're gonna ask the question of Does this new battery have? A charge. Now we can read on these batteries that what's what how many volts are supposed to be on the battery? Can you read that? 3.8 OV. Yeah, 3.80 volts. Alright, so we can look at the multimeter here and we can do a test like this. So let's let me show you where you would put these leads. One on one side, the other on the other side of the battery, just like that. Now, you tell me, what does the multimeter say? 39.70. 3.9. So if a charged battery is supposed to have 3.8 and this has 3.9, is this battery charged? Yes or no? Yeah. Yes, it is. Very good. So if we, can we, should we just plug it into the phone and see what happens? Yeah. All right. So let's see if you can do that. So very, we're just gonna overlay it right on top. Let's get our camera back here. All right, and let's see if very carefully can you press that right into the battery connector. Just press it down for a test. Press it down with your fingers. Yep. Is it? Okay, good. Okay. All right, now, now we've put a charged battery there, right? Yeah. So what should we do um, we should, next? We should plug it in and see if it works. Okay, plug it in and see if it works. I love that idea. All right, here you go. This is, this can go here. I'll take this end and I'll plug it into a charger right here. And you are very gonna plug carefully. it in very carefully down there and see what happens all right oh my goodness apple i see an apple logo wow let's see if it can actually boot all the way up wow that is very very cool let's see maybe it'll boot up maybe uh -huh. it will boot up all right oh, it did boot up oh my gosh what does he say his Passcode. Let's find out. Let's see. This is guy's passcode. Do you write it down? Yeah, it's this. We can't say it out loud because it's private, okay? But you can type it in. Go ahead, type it in. See if it works. That number? See by my thumb? Wow. This number? Next? Is that? And then this? And then that number, and then this, and then the next number. <gasps> Yay! 
look at that. Will they be able to get all their pictures back? Let's go on camera. All right. Well, let's, let's not because we're going to assume we don't want to mess with it or take any pictures or anything like that. All right. So is this phone seems like we'll be able to get their pictures if we hook it to a computer and suck them off? Yeah. Yes. So now I want you girls to really think. Why, why do you think that fixing this phone was as easy as just replacing the battery here? Why would the Apple genius not... Because, because they, didn't, they didn't actually try. They didn't think. They didn't think. You're right. They're they not allowed to think. They didn't try. And they didn't actually try. They, they must not have actually tried or else it would have worked, right? <laughs> I'm very proud of you girls. That's very good. I'm very proud of you, clown. <laughs> so that's, that, is, that is very good. And I think that you're absolutely right that if I look at this phone right now, now that it's plugged in, and I see... Um, do you see this number here? What is it? This top number. Five. The top wait. number is. Wait, wait, let me see. Zero, zero, zero. Right. So is this phone charging? No. Yeah. So it must have been that this phone couldn't charge, and so therefore. Yeah, the bad battery. So therefore, the Apple genius just said, well, if it can't charge, there's something wrong with the phone, and we're not even going to open it up and try a new battery just to get the pictures back. And that's the lesson there, that that's, that's a really typical way to institutionalize repair. If there's anything wrong with a phone that the geniuses aren't going to fix, like we're not going to replace a charge port, they don't do that, or we're not going to do a board level um, a board level charging solution, we're not going to replace a chip on it, then they're also not going to even open it up and they're not going to even try a battery. So this phone really just needed a battery to get all of these pictures, all of this data back to make a backup. All of that is so straightforward and the geniuses missed that because it's not in their metric for repair and the little girl geniuses were able to figure that out. What do you see over there, girls? Let me see. That's a lot. Oh my gosh, it says here, what does it say, Betsy? I know you don't have your glasses on. Spectre donated $20 for the girls for fixing the phone. Yay! That's gonna have to, you might have to upgrade your piggy bank. That's a lot. Thank you wait, very much. Wait, do you get the money or we? You do, because it says it's for you. Wow! So now what do you think about being geniuses and fixing stuff? Pretty great. Awesome. All right. Do you have anything else to say before we are done with the I am a genius uh, repair campaign? Do I do. Wait, I, I do. What do you have to say, Maisie? You should, uh, you should, you should think about the video and think your, your knowledge and the knowledge that we did for you on this video to try yourself before spending all that money for the not working Apple geniuses. That's right. And what do you have to say, Betsy? Don't give up, keep trying. Don't give up, keep trying. Very good. And now I'm going to let you guys go over there and tinker around with the dead phone pile. And we are going to do some more work on practicing. I know that is one of your favorite things to do. So we're going to let them get busy on that. And thanks for watching. So you guys, I, um, oh, Rob Brown gave you more money, $20. Oh my gosh, you guys are going to be rich. What, another 20? Yeah, from Rob Brown. Can you say thank you to Mr. Brown? Thank you. Oh, yes, very, wow. So it's just like doing this and get getting more money than I get from my waitress job. Yeah, it turns out that iPhone repair does pay more than waitressing. You're right. So, uh, okay. so there you go. So thing, thing, today I learned. So uh, this is iFixit's campaign. So go to social media. Tell us your repair stories. Post those pictures. I want to hear about that first job that you did. Yeah. And uh, market hashtag I am a genius. This is an idea. I love this campaign for my fix it of just sort of showing the world that you don't have to sit behind the genius bar in order to be a genius. Any can, anyone can be a genius. Maisie here is a genius. Um, get out there and, and fix stuff and to just sort of you know show this is real life people that are, also, are really doing this. One more thing I want to say. What is? It? 
I'm not just a genius. Everyone in the world is, including Betsy and me and you. Never <laughs> That's right. W wise words from Maisie. All right, that is it for our stream, and we'll see you next time.